Greetings and salutations, everyone. Tremaine Hayho here. Welcome to today. Today is Friday the 13th. We have a amazing news update for you today. Now, don't we? Talking about the YouTube channel, talking about new movies, new documentaries, and more. This just in. Hayho Studios is getting into documentaries. Oh my gosh. We are getting into the documentary game, starting off with the Maddox documentary. There is a YouTuber named Maddox. He's a good friend of mine. He's a very interesting, cool, funny guy. Interesting personality to say the least. So we did a little mini documentary on this guy. And so be on the lookout for that. Also in the news, we have a cat documentary in the works. What? A cat documentary? You have to be kidding me. <laughs> Guys, that was terrible. Okay, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. We're doing a documentary on this cat rehabilitation and adoption center called Cat Town. This is an amazing place in Oakland, California where they help rehabilitate cats that are unadoptable uh, and help them become adoptable. They actually help bring down a lot of euthanasia rates in cats. Uh, they save a lot of cool cats uh, from, from being put uh, out to pasture so uh it's actually a really cool story and i can't wait to share this documentary with you also um if we can help save one cat this documentary will be worth it so be on the lookout for that that's probably gonna be coming uh end of the year beginning of next year so it's gonna be pretty cool also in the news, new music video out. Well, it's a couple weeks old now, but it is the Rucka Rucka Ollie music video called Shane Dawson. It is super funny, super over the top. I happen to direct and edit it. It is starring Rucka Rucka Ollie and Blair White. So what are you waiting for? Go check that music video out right here. Also, we have a almost 20 minute behind the scenes video about the making of that little music video. So that was a lot of fun to make. You guys can see all the fun, cool things that we did in the process of making it there. Also in the news, we just got back from a two week road trip. Yes, the American dream road trip the most stunning locations with the most stunning vehicle we ever could have imagined. Myself and Sean, the showstopper, Valentino himself, flew to Miami, picked up the BMW i8 Roadster, and went on a cross-country adventure. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this. We have a lot of cool locations that we filmed from Miami to New Orleans, to Texas, to New Mexico, to Nevada and a lot of other cool places in between. Went to a place called Roswell, New Mexico. We saw some aliens. I, I don't know, things, crazy things happened in this documentary. Um, so we were filming a new movie for the showstopper himself, plus a documentary road trip that we were just filming uh, on our own. Plus we had a lot of little one-offs, like I got my palm red in New Orleans on Bourbon Street. That was pretty wild, that was crazy. So you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for those types of videos and content. Also in the news, we filmed a couple gold digger pranks. If you guys haven't seen those videos, they're all totally real and not staged at all. Uh, no, I had this idea of doing these gold digger pranks because we see I see these YouTubers with these gold digger pranks. They're obviously fake guys, um, but they get a lot of views. So we're like, hey, why don't we try our hand at that? We had an amazing car, the BMW i8 Roadster. We had some beautiful models in Miami. So why not film a couple of those? We have a couple more in the works. Not sure if I'm gonna release one cause it's kind of hairy, but you know what? Uh, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Uh, but either way, check out those two silly videos in the link in the description below. Also in the news, yes, I know I'm like the most hated man on Kickstarter. I'm so sorry to the people that have not gotten their rideshare DVDs and Blu-rays yet. And we are so late on those and it's been haunting me. I've been looking at a bunch of different companies to try to print DVDs and like the lowest quote was like 600 or $800, which that is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, we found a new way of doing it, actually doing it on demand. Uh, I didn't want to just do like some plain generic DVD thing or Blu-ray thing. So we actually finally have the, co we, the, the cover art is done. Uh, all of the bonus features are done. Everything's just putting together, uh, being put together in a nice cool menu 
um, something that is unique and interesting, something that uh, I feel is lost these days. I know a lot of people don't really use DVDs anymore or Blu-rays, but for the people that do, it's going to be more of a collector's item. So it's going to be something that is a cool physical thing that gives you a lot more than just one DVD that just plays the movie, right? We, we have all the bonus features, the commentary, all, all the all that good stuff. All the, we don't have to go over it. We've gone over it a million times. But finally, getting those things done and getting those out there. So be on the lookout for that. Hopefully, it won't be the most hated man on Kickstarter anymore. Let's talk about new feature films. We talked about documentaries, talked about music videos that we're doing. We got a new feature film in the works that is almost done. Yes, the script is almost done. Yes, I'm writing it. Yes, I'm directing it. Yes, it's going to be 10 times better than Rideshare. It's going to be 10 times better than anything I've ever done. And I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to tell you guys more about it, but you're going to have to stay tuned. I know I'm a tease, you guys. I know I'm a tease, but uh, trust me, though, it, it's a it's a really cool subject matter. We have a new Keurig machine. Yes, coffee helps when we're filming, when we're editing. And when I say we, I mean me. So cheers to that. Thank you guys so much. Also, thank you all for the birthday wishes. Yes, it was my birthday last week, November 3rd. I guess a week and a half ago now. I got a lot of birthday wishes from you guys, so thank you guys so much for those birthday wishes. I'll be real with you guys. I started my production company in 2012, and from there, I've been doing videos, but I've also had to do some side gigs in order to stay afloat to keep myself working on the passion projects that don't exactly get me paid, but I get a lot more reward out of it. Um, I'm gonna have to take Hey Ho Studios to the next level, you guys, and 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 I don't want to just go around the the the. I just don't want to go the uh, route of just raising a bunch of money and hiring a bunch of people willy nilly. I mean, yeah, that could be cool, but I think I would. I, I think for it to be a sustainable company, I'm gonna have to like. I'm gonna have to really grow from the ground up. So I'm looking at Patreon right now. Uh, as a means of providing extra behind the scenes content, extra content that I could provide to people that want to support myself and the channel. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, well, Tremaine, what are your goals? What are you trying to do with this uh, Hey Ho Studios thing? Because you have got different, all these sorts of different videos from drone videos to music videos to feature films, to documentaries. What the, what the hell is your idea? What the hell is your goal? Well, I'm sharing it with you right now. My goal is to create the biggest and greatest movie studio ever of all time. Boom. That's exactly what I want. Right now, we have one office space uh, set for one person. I'm not allowed to film with anyone in this office space. If I were to bring someone on, it would be a lot more expensive. So right now, office space is very affordable for me. It's working within what I can do right now without killing uh, our budget uh, and everything. But... For me to grow and for me to expand, I'm gonna have to really put myself out there more and provide better types of content. And I've been toying with the idea of Patreon. There's really gonna be no other way around it because I wanna be able to hire editors. Uh, that's the biggest step. One, the first thing is, is hiring an editor. Uh, there's a company that actually can it can edit videos for you unlimited for around 600, 700 bucks a month which would be a lot cheaper than uh, having a full-time employee. So that's kind of the first step is to get to that type of goal. And then from there, I wanna be able to hire more people. So producers, shooters, editors, buy, be able to buy equipment, buy a bigger studio space, um, be able to have a full, fully fledged 24 seven movie studio. It's, uh, we're in the very early stages of this. Um, but I, I like I, I like the whole grassroots growth type thing. I could try to go to investors and try to raise tens of millions of dollars. That'd be intimidating. And also, I don't know if I want to have that type of money over my head. Um, I think I'd rather have like a grassroots type campaign. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I try to just raise a ton of money and build a huge movie studio, which would be amazing? Or should I try to build it from the ground up and, you know, little by little, then eventually expand exponentially? when everything's really taking off. So working on that, you guys have any ideas of what, what, like I've been toying with it because I'm like, well, people can just pay Netflix 10 bucks a month and they have pretty much unlimited endless supply of content, <laughs> which is pretty high quality. But I, I don't know. I, I think even with Netflix, there aren't enough original, new and unique ideas, stuff that I want to do. I want to be able to green light projects 
of filmmakers that have completely unique and original ideas. Um, I feel like a lot of movie studios these days are all about sequels, remakes, reboots, and I think people are tired of that. They want to see fresh, original content. So that's the goal. That's the idea behind my company, behind this movie studio. And if you guys can help in any way, that would be amazing. But I think I'm going to put that together. So be on the lookout for that. Something I, 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 I want to do it right, though. I don't want to just have some stupid willy-nilly thing and not have you guys feel like you're getting any value. Uh, it's been me for the longest time, but I have to be able to grow. I have to be able to expand. Even just trying to do like social media, shooting, directing, editing, producing, it it's, takes a lot out of you, you know, being one man. I'm not complaining because I wouldn't trade it for anything else. But in order for me to even provide better videos, better movies, better music videos, better everything, I'm going to have to grow, going to have to expand. So we are doing that little by little. So yeah, that's pretty much the update. That has been the news of Friday the 13th. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Have an awesome weekend. All right, be cool. See you tomorrow. Bye.